Hey, Pasa amigos. Today is the 6th of March, Wednesday, and I just need to get something off the top of my head. I want you to know, because just now Steve Karnacki is on MSNBC and giving these polls that make it look like Trump's going to win, and of course they do that. As he was talking, and I shut it off, I heard very clearly, remain quiet and know that this is not going to happen. Remember, they were just so sure Hillary Clinton was going to win, and she didn't, okay? So know that he can't cheat his way into this. But I don't know why I'm even more sure of it this time than any other time. But I just want it because I just had to turn it off. And I thought, now nah, you're talking through your, you know what? But he's going by polls and uh, the polls aren't telling us the truth, you guys. OK, well, what they it's not enough polls. Trust me, there's people quietly waiting on the sideline. I don't know if he's actually going to be able to run. I think some stuff is going to happen. Either he's like just dropping tremendously because so much stuff is going on or he's just not able to do it. He, maybe he's convicted or something. Something's going to happen. So um, Biden is going to win. That I can tell you. Okay. Thank you guys for your questions too. Um, where are you at? Here we go. Did you see that... Uh, a Russian missile strike hits Odessa near Zelensky, who met with the Greek prime minister. Um, okay, so uh, where is this? I wanted to get into. Okay, here we go. Did Trump threaten Haley to stop running? This is from Annie. Immediately, I can tell you, no, I don't even have to look. No, he didn't threaten her, but his cohorts are going to be begging her to change their mind. And may I bring something up? Do you guys remember how I told you Eileen, uh, Eileen uh, Cannon, the, the judge in Florida? What did I tell you guys? Behind closed doors, he, he's offering her a, a justice seat. Well, he posted it. He said what a terrific judge she is, how wonderful. And by gosh, if he's in office, if a seat becomes available in SCOTUS, he's putting her in. Exactly what I told you guys. Well, not me, the guides, they told you guys. Uh, in fact, he's even saying, we don't need her people. We don't need her. He's so full of it. He's so full of it, you guys. Um, Uh, will the Republicans in Arizona bill for proof of citizenship before voting pass? No, I heard clear as day, no. And I have to tell you something else. North Carolina, the governor who said, I was just on Deanne's show with Mel talking about this. I'm going to tell you right now. I'll even throw in it to prove it to you. That gentleman that says, well, I don't know if he's a gentleman that gays are maggots and and the, the Jew uh, uh, the Holocaust didn't happen and it, life was better when women couldn't vote. It's just, oh my God. It's like, who is this? Who is this? Civil rights sucks. This is a black man. And I saw a tank go off a cliff. So he's going to tank. He's going to go off the cliff. So let me just do three real quick. Yeah, he thinks he's king for a day. But look at this. The women will be the judge of that. And he will be left at the crossroads. This is not a card of winning, you guys. He's a loser. Okay. And thank you guys for all your comments on the book. And by the way, we're dealing with the Kindle thing for Tana. <laughs> And she just thinks, okay, we're done. It's something else comes up. She's going to get a hold of uh, Amazon and see if they can help her. But uh, 
she's removed it in the meantime. People were getting, I guess it was sideways or something. Of course, that's going to happen to me. So we'll, uh, we're going to be doing the audio next week. That'll be available soon. Okay. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Why a cinnamon bun? <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Suspending her re-election campaign. Is she getting off the books cash from lobbyists? She knew she knows she's going to lose. That's what I just heard. It's almost a futile attempt. So she's saving face. Yeah, she's looking to hop on to something else. Maybe even like a lobbyist or something. She's looking to hop on to something else. I will never forgive her. I know she worked across the table and all this stuff. When they gave her attention, she was good. But if they didn't give her attention, she showed her, you know what. But when she did that little curtsy and went like that, that was it for me with her. Oh, yes. Dakota says, will Ghislaine Maxwell spill the beans? So rumor has it that she plans on spilling the beans. Now, you know, she feared for her life because she wouldn't allow Bill Barr to come see her. Because she knew what Bill Barr does. Ghislaine Maxwell. And you know, women have just torn Trump up. But is it a woman doing this that just ends them? Ooh. He's got so much, it's not even funny. I mean, we have so many things. We we have so many tulips to pick, you guys. Just Lane, are you going to spill with me? She's talking to someone. Hold on. She's talking to someone, and it might even be a ghostwriter of some sort. Off the table, sort of secretive, like she gets her private time and so she's able to speak to this person. It might be a release of a book. Whoa. And she starts talking about, she's going to try to make herself look innocent. Is just, just laying going to spill the beans? Our focus is Trump. I heard yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. She's tense. She's wanting to start it. She stops it. I think it's a male she's working with. She's patiently going through this. The cycle is right for her to do this. Um, she really wants out of there. You know, okay, I got a couple of hits. I feel she wants to be pardoned. And I think Trump's the only one that can do that. I feel somebody gave her a message that if you want to be pardoned, you best not talk about Trump. So maybe this won't affect him running for president, but it might affect him afterwards. Okay, I just got that hit that she... She hates Trump, too. Okay, thank you. So right now, she just said to me, I don't care. I'm just going to do the book and, and burn him. I guess, did she go into jail Why he was president? She did, and Trump didn't do anything. She tried to send Bill Barr, and she refused because she was thinking they were going to set her up for the kill. She's going. She's off to war, you guys. Holy cow. I see him kind of begging. I think there's rumors or something that he knows she's going to come. And he's like saying, just let me get in and I'll pardon you. But she's like, I don't care. That's what she just said to me. Damn. Cindy wants to know about Adam Schiff and Steve Garvey. And Steve Garvey got up there in the numbers. But I'm going to tell you what, if it's going to win. I, I feel bad about Katie and Barbara. That's just a shame. They were two good people. And I guess they had to step out of their Congress seat in order to run. I see uh, hard feelings with um, Katie. 
she's angry for some reason. And she's blaming Adam Schiff. Uh, somebody told me she was mad that he was choosing the Republican to make his focus. But they said that was a smart move because that's someone he can beat. That's what I heard. Um, she's pissed right now. She might not say you guys need to vote for Adam Schiff. She, not now, but down the road she will. Because we all have till November. She'll be happy something else comes up for her. And she was a little tired of Congress too. It's a rat show over there. Yeah. Adam Schiff is going to win, positively guaranteed. He's riding his horse. He's doing his thing. He's a good communicator. I call him Atticus. Okay. Uh, may St. Michael and all the archangels watch over him in the Ukraine in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, user. <laughs> Lynn said, who's next to visit Trump after Orban and Musk? MSNBC suggests, well, Musk give Trump the money to pay his judgments. There's some sort of deal. But see, Musk doesn't trust Trump because. But he'll own him if he gives him money. So I do see some money coming. But he doesn't trust that he'll win. Interesting. So Musk is going to use the Twitter format to talk trash about Biden. He already is. He's doing that already. But see, Twitter is a nothing burger. Uh, <laughs> okay, Joram. Joram wants to know if Colin Alfred will knock the snot out of Cruz. Okay, Colin. Let's take a look-see. Let's take a look-see. God, we have wished for Cruz to lose so bad. And they showed on the news, they said Cruz has won. And I was like, what? And then I realized that he won the Republican. Can Alred do what Beto couldn't do? Could Alred actually win the Texas seat against Ted run out of town cruise. Well, there could be success here. I don't know. There's a woman around that seems to be very helpful. He's going to get a lot of money. He's going to get a lot of money. You know, and here's the other thing we were talking about on the show with Deanne. All that money that goes to Haley, the uh, Koch brothers, all those guys, where are they going to put their money? They're not going to put it in Trump. Um, judgment is upon them. Okay. When the nine of cops shows in the house, that means absolutely guaranteed. Guaranteed. The three of pinnacles, success. People will notice him. I, my prediction today is Allwood would win, win based on these cards. Okay, let me just ask the pendulum real quick. Sweet pendulum. Will all red beat Cruz? Will all red beat Cruz? As saying yes, okay. All right. I better send him some money. Okay, here we go. Okay. I think tomorrow I'm going to be on with Kirsten on her show. Okay, here we go. I just lost my my place here. Okay, here we go. God, thank you guys for all these questions. Um, That was so funny. What's the next visit after Orban and Musk? I do see Musk giving him some money. I do. But it's a loan. And Trump is like, if I'm president, I'll be able to pay you back because I'll make the taxpayers pay for it. I 
actually, Chris, Chris asked, what is Orban doing at Mar-a-Lago? Getting money for more national secrets? I am actually see him bringing money to Trump. And it might not be from him. It might be maybe from Russia, but they're going in a roundabout way. But I see them bringing money to him. They haven't paid their fine yet, Catherine. And they don't have the money. They don't have the money and they didn't pay their fine yet. And don't forget, coming up, I thought it was March 9th, but somebody said it was a different date. Uh, they'll start, uh, uh, Letitia James will start liquidating. I do see his stuff getting liquidated. Ashley Merchant, who brought the Willis Wade case in Georgia, appeared before the Georgia Senate today. Will she face charges for slander, frivolous lawsuit, or anything? One of the senators pointed out that her client is not harmed and the case law does not apply to this case. Uh, I think Ashley was the one that just didn't answer the questions very well. There's something very sneaky about her. I don't see anything happening to her. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, oh, thank you, Mary said. I adored your book. Thank you, you guys. Um, yeah, Moxie. She says, Jew hatred has gotten out of control. Does my community have to defend against another Holocaust? This is not hyperbole. It's a real concern within the Jewish community. And it's scary as hell. Not even really feeling comfortable enough to go to temple or maybe having to get people, you know, guards. To, to, it's just awful. I do see it slowing down. I'm so sorry. And I, you know, as a Native American Indian, I know what the white man can do when they hate certain people. And the Jews know what they can do because they killed off most of them. And I'm going to tell you something, probably 25, 26, and I've told you this before, and I think Andre said, what have we got? Something going into Pisces. Maybe my anus is going into Pisces or something, Uranus or something. But there's some leveling off of the commotion. Now, we're still going to have uproars. We're still going to have, we're not having a civil war, okay, because there's, we don't have muskets anymore. You can't. If you get a group of people acting like they're going to take over, we've got jets, et cetera. You know, no, uh-uh. But we will have up, uprisings. Pray, pray, people. People might even stay home more so. But I want the Jewish community to, to know that they will probably, when, within two years, it'll get a little better. And may I say, Netanyahu, is getting ready to go. And I don't know who's coming in his place, but whoever it is seems to calm things down and help things out better. Yeah, I saw that the turtle just endorsed 45. And you know what? This guy talked trash about McConnell. He talked trash about his wife. His wife left her post after the January 6th insurrection because she said she couldn't stand by and support him. And yet he's still, he's such a sleazy two-faced person i mean entertainment purposes only but and be entertained by this statement he's a worthless human being he's the one that changed scotus he's the one that lied through his teeth told obama he didn't have a right to bring in merrick garland and obama did i don't know behind the scenes that people were telling obama bull bull pucky but the problem is they had more people in the senate or something so he couldn't have got through he couldn't have got him through but I and then then when Ruth died, oh no, well no, yeah, we can still do it. it was like two weeks before the election. And poor Ruth, she tried so hard to stay on. Um yeah, Jack, I gotta tell you something. And I heard this. Jack Smith is tick tock. First of all, Aileen is going. I don't know when, I don't know how, but she's going. But that might not be done until after the election, but Trump's not going to win the election. But I see him doubling up, maybe even have a verdict by September. 
August, September, maybe in October, right before the elections. And Trump is going to whine and moan. But the thing is, he's already been indicted. So whatever they said about leaving the president uh, alone or a presidential candidate alone doesn't pertain to him. Uh Oh, Annie, so do they give intelligent briefings when they're just nominated? I don't see any intelligent briefings for 45, none whatsoever. I do see Fani. I don't see her being kicked out. Let's just do another look-see, okay? Well, Fani, stay on the case. I do see the judge balling her out a little bit. Maybe something about untoward or this could have been handled better. I don't know what this is. Will Fani stay on the case? She's doing her homework. She's making sure all her I's are dotted. T's crossed. But wear her little tight dress and sachet in there. Excuse me, dummy. Oops, flimsy me. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Yeah, she's waiting on it. She's a little bit nervous, you guys. Um, This has been tough on her. I will tell you that. It's been real tough on her. She's struggling. I didn't realize how bad she was struggling. Um, ooh, these cards are good. Yikes disappointment you don't think he'd actually get rid of her the tower in the house these cards are bad i'm hoping they're wrong but according to these cards it's not good oh okay thank you thank you thank you there's some other disappointing news coming up or something but look at that these people might know they're like dogs. They might hold on to this and try to cut, but, but it shows success. Whatever happens with Fonny, this case isn't going to go down, even if she works in the back, in the back with everybody trying to help them get through this. Uh, thank you about the, the Kindle. Be sure to ask Amazon for your money back. And then we're working on it now. Oh, that's a good question. I'll do the pendulum. Big Dog wants to know, will Biden actually debate Trump and vice versa? Will Biden have a debate with, oh, it's saying yes. Will it make Trump look horrible? Yes. I just saw something. Um, He won't be cray cray. Trump won't be cray cray like he did the first time trying to take over and acting like king for a day. But I see him screwing up big time on a couple of things and everybody's laughing at him. Um, somebody said, can we hear you shuffling your cards? Thank you, sweetie. Yes, Acumine. Didn't hear Zelensky had an attempt on his life. I'm assuming Kristen Cinema would be a good thing. Will it help Galeos? Yes, he's going to win, by the way. Let's ask about, what's her name? Uh, Fuzzy Face. That's running for senator. What's her name? I can see her as clear as day, and I usually don't. Carrie Lake? Harry Lake, are you going to win as senator of Arizona? Okay, thank you. They just said no very clearly. Okay. Thank you, April. She said she just got my book. Harry Lake, are you going to be able to become a senator? Yes or no? She's getting money for this. Uh, her communication's all upside down. Mm, it's not looking good. Uh, is there a man running the answer? Because it looks like a man wins. 
Looks like a male lens. As we get closer, we'll look at it again. Oh, that's true. Mary said, will Katie Porter run for her present seat now that she's out? That's a good idea. Will Katie Porter run for her present seat? It's saying yes. Because I saw her getting back on track. So she'll probably get her seat back. But I feel like she was like really looking forward to being a senator. Um, I did see something big is getting ready to come up, okay? I thought maybe it's even that attempt. Somebody was breathing weird, one of my dogs. Um, I even thought perhaps it was that attempt on Zelensky. But this is like news making. This is like, I just feel probably before the end of this week, we're going to, something will come up and it feels surprising. That's all I can say. I'm not quite sure. Well, let's ask. It don't hurt to ask. Tell me. Tell me. About a big event coming up this week. It, was I right on that hit? I was at the grocery store minding my own beeswag, and I, I even grabbed my phone like what? Some disappointing news. Um, some ending to something. Um, check. Well, I don't know if it's a death. It it just feels. It just feels it might be a woman. Or it might even have to do, because this, sometimes this card represents Russia. It might even have something to do with Russia. It might have something to do with Russia. Like, you know, have you seen all the people in line to Zelensky's grave? Maybe there's an outburst or something happens. Something's going to happen. Uh Uh, by the way, SCOTUS will rule to not give Trump immunity. I saw that as clear as day. But uh, as far as taking their time, uh, he's waiting. And bada bing, bada boom. He'll work on it. He'll work on it. So listen, you guys, I'll be back Sunday for us to chit chat and ask questions. I'll post something so you can give me your questions again. And we're just going to go with the flow. I hope this didn't end up too long because I know y'all don't like going on too long. Okay. Love you all. Cheers. <laughs>